Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. For meeting for the first time, welcome. And for those of you that are old friends and family, welcome back. As you guys can tell, we are going to be diving into divine feminine masculine connection reading. Now, what does this mean? This means that um, we are going to be looking into the masculine or feminine energies within you, or we can look at the connection that you have with a divine masculine or the divine feminine. This reading was inspired by a conversation that I had, a very deep conversation that I had with one of my friends earlier today, and knew that I wanted to come on here, shuffle for you guys, connect with the energy channel, and um, but also didn't want to kind of cover current events because as you guys know, it's a little crazy and hazy in current events and after the last video I wanted to take some time to decompress so this is a wonderful way to pivot so I hope that you are open that you're receptive again this reading is going to be focusing on the divine feminine or masculine energies that can be found within you and or you could also use this as a time to connect with a divine feminine or divine masculine that is on your heart that connection between the two of you guys like an actual person so this is going to be pile number one this will be pile number two and this will be pile number three and i will meet you guys at your timestamps. all right my loves if you chose pile number one this is your reading now this pile right here represents the divine feminine whether that be the embodiment of you or divine feminine that lives within you or another person and this pile represents divine masculine, whether that be the divine masculine embodiment within you or it representing um, another person. The over our, overarching energy for, for your divine feminine and masculine connection is the hanged man reversed. If you hear any rain in the background, it's because it's starting to rain. We have the hangman reversed. So right away, the first thing that I am feeling when I look at this card is actually the number, the number 12. Ten, eleven, twelve. 11, 12, yeah, three. This is, um, I'm really, what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing when I get this is I think about the number 12 and then I break it down to the number three and how there needs to be like the word that it is i'm hearing is hands off like taking a hands off the situation like like seriously the universe your angels your guides your ancestors guiding you to take your hands off of the wheel and to simply allow things to be this is going to help energy flow this is going to help you be more receptive or whatever is like the course of things is what it is that i'm hearing the course of things allowing them to unfold the way that they should I, it's interesting because when the hangman shows up, upright or reversed, this is a reminder that this is a powerful reminder that I will be done, right? So this is where we give up grace or we give, we give the situation grace. We give it to the divine. We give it to the, uh, the higher power, the powers that be the universe in order to allow things to unfold we cannot force things oftentimes when we're forcing things it's because we are in fear we have resistance we have doubt we're feeling a lack of love a lack of like we might be feeling insecure within ourselves and there's something here that the universe is teaching you not just in this situation or in this moment in your life, but for lessons in the future, this is going to be a common, because this feels like, I don't say karmic, but it feels like a karmic, like an important lesson that is that you're learning on how to genuinely, oh, I just heard how to genuinely lift yourself up by letting things go. When you hold on, it's like it pulls you down. It can pull your energy down. It can pull the relationship down. If you're trying to force things and uh, like convince them out, you know, convince them to be something other than what they naturally choose to be. 
it will drag you down. It will not be a high vibration. It will not have a positive outcome. If anything, it'll create delays and resistance. This is going to help shift your perspective in the future when you learn this lesson simply by letting go. Now, this, this doesn't mean that you are letting go of yourself or letting go of a person. It could. It means that you're letting go of your pers your perspective, the way that you view things so that you can see so that you can see from the divine's perspective how important it is to like if you love it you let it go now if this is a person right if this is a person or an energy or whatever the situation is right like an actual physical embodiment of someone this is really choosing not you, you like really choosing not to try to strive too much in this connection because it's offsetting the balance. This is when divine feminine ends up chasing and kind of leaning more into divine masculine energy or their masculine energy. This is where divine feminine has to sit with herself and understand her self-worth and her self-value. I say her, but it could be, it you know doesn't have to be identified as a, a male or a female. We wanna reset the balance. And by doing that, we have to completely let go. For some of you, I am kind of getting this whiff of you closing out an important chapter in your life. Um, this is really completely letting go, but like let's say you've you've been growing yourself in some way, in some way. Let's say you've been working on maturity. Let's say you've been working on this. Does not feel like career. It feels like internal, personal, big spiritual growth. This is you being able, like, this is, I'm seeing someone, like, working on themselves and having, like, the light opening up their eyes and seeing things, like, looking back in the past and having a deep realization of their own growth, their own journey, and seeing things with new eyes, new perspective, that which they weren't able to see before. So this is really giving, like, eye-opening, holy crap, like, when you know better, you do better. Now that I know, why didn't I see? And I also want to tell you guys that this is not something that you have guilt or shame over. This is something that you, I don't say learn to accept, but when you know better, you do better, and now you know. All right, now let's go ahead and flip these cards over, starting with Divine Feminine. Let's go ahead and tap into Divine Feminine Energy and see what she is working with. And I'm going to use different pronouns. I'm going to use um, those pronouns. I hope you guys are okay with that. So these are the cards. I am getting a notification that there's going to be some lightning. So hopefully the storm that is rolling through isn't too aggressive that it distracts us. Okay, Divine Feminine. Ooh. Okay, we have the Raven, you mysterious goddess, you. <laughs> We have magic, coincidence, and synchronistic events. The next card we have is birth and rebirth. This is intense right here, Divine Feminine. So this is kind of reassuring me of exactly what it is that I was sensing and feeling that Divine Feminine, I definitely see like growth. I see tremendous, tremendous internal growth, especially when it comes to you learning um, I'm going to talk in first person, like talk to the divine, divine feminine part of you, right? So especially when it comes to you learning about your yourself, when it comes to your magic, when it comes to your mystery, when it comes to like really knowing what happens when you let go, like truly. I And I don't know, I'm kind of stuttering on how to say it, but like think about the high priestess. And think about how the high priestess is not known for like being loud or forcing things. She is a channel, like she is a portal, so to speak. And that is something that is needed to be protected and respected. I see you going, like undergoing, I don't know if this is like, a spiritual awakening. I don't know if this is you having a, I don't say midlife crisis, but like an, an, an internal awakening and a huge shift in, or it could be you transitioning from maiden to mother or mother to crone. This is huge. 
and it's deep and it's shadow like it's you confronting oftentimes the shadow aspect of yourself like fears your anxieties and shedding this like really shedding this and divine feminine this is why it's important again for you to learn to let go because this is you really stepping f deeper into your power by not needing to force or to strive or to chase or to manipulate because the high priestess too as powerful as she is she can easily she can easily abuse that power if she doesn't trust herself if she's not if she's not respecting her power she could abuse it and she could use it to manipulate people especially the, the masculine energy especially if the if the masculine is toxic right or off balance and we shall see so i just see you coming into yourself but deeper than you knowing yourself it's you knowing your magic and you face for some of you guys you may be really facing like fears you may be really facing like plagues of the mind plagues of the con like of your consciousness like inner demons like not in like an evil way but like just things that have ho held you back it could be so deep like um ed i don't know if i'm allowed to say that on online but things that have really held you back and stunted you it could be depression it could be you having voicelessness you having powerlessness addiction um you it could it maybe it's not even that i don't say that deep but it could be in a, you emerging in yourself like change i'm seeing someone kind of changing even how they dress from showing a lot of skin to covering up or wearing black and switching to the color white like there's something here that seems so significant and represents a deep inner shift. And this is going to help awaken your power, not just in relationships, but how you work with energy, how you attract, how you're able to attract. And to, again, I just, I don't see you chasing. Having said that, I do believe that there's going to be signs and signals to confirm. And they may be things like, seeming like dark it could be pomegranate is something that i'm seeing it could be cranberries i'm seeing like the color like red crimson um it could be you wearing red lipstick if there's something here like signs or signals that are sh showing you or it, when i say red lipstick it could be the name of a lipstick that you feel drawn to you look at the, the bottom of the name and you're just like holy crap like that's that or nail polish or something there's something about adornment that is a sign, uh, one of many signs that you're gonna be seeing. Um, some of you guys are really taking way better care of yourself. Let's go ahead and look at the next cards we have. Yep, love. All of this is coming from a deep act of not just love for the masculine or love of another, but love, the embodiment of love, like divine love is flowing through you. This is, uh, someone here has to understand that this is also why things feel so painful for you. Like when you love something, well, you got to be careful because you're, if you're not careful, you, this love can turn into addiction or obsession. So there needs to be, because there's a lot of shadow here that can show up. So we want to make sure that we're letting go, right? We want to lift, we want to keep, keep, keep this energy lifting up like to a higher vibration, not tip turning down and could which it easily can it easily can be if you're doing magic one love spell is enough <laughs> one love candle is enough then you have to let things unfold if if you keep lighting candles and aff affirming like trying to call in setting intention then you have to, you, again, this is another sign that it's time for you to let go. Let's look at the animalistic nature. We have turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace, and then the peacock spirit, let it shine. So I actually want to put this here and this one here, two birds, different energies. The peacock has a, diff, like both of them have a really commanding energy, but one seems very sacrificial and the other seems revered, like it seems almost worshipped. And which one do you see yourself falling in, number one? Number two, I see a sense of boldness, reassurance, confidence, 
self-assuredness that you speak of yourself like inner confidence that comes from the moment that you decide to let outcomes go divine feminine whether you are trying to chase a person or whether you're trying to attract or whether you are just manifesting and magnetizing we want to go ahead and let let this energy let the outcomes go um, this is going to help increase your vibration where you're going to be more courageous, more bold, more forthcoming, more truth telling, more authentic. This is not a quiet divine feminine energy. This is a silent, like a silent energy that commands, commands the room. That's what you are walking into. That's what you're embodying. And for that reason, you are going to naturally and easily and effortlessly manifest and even reject more things than you accept that's going to help you connect to or even balance this energy between that you're feeling between divine masculine and uh anything that it is that you are uh anything just literally anything because this energy flows endless let's look at your tarot cards we have the page of wands reverse which is definitely a sign of Right now, maybe not feeling so self-assured, so confident, but also this could be the card of burning out. It could be the card of giving up. It could be the card of losing passion, losing direction. And this is what, yeah, Six of Wands, Queen of Cups. So first what we want to do is we want to go to the places where you may already feel defeated, especially the turkey, where this turkey energy that's been showing up here. Um, and we want to call out to her right we want to call out to her and we want to encourage her we want to recognize her this if you chose this pile your divine your divine feminine needs a lot of affirmations right now physical touch maybe not so much that may be your first love language but for right now you need to be affirmed you need to be told whether it's from other people or whether it's you to yourself looking into the mirror the divine feminine needs to hear that she is worthy that she's valuable that she's valued just as she is that nothing more is needed from her that she is beautiful that she is strong passionate purposeful like magical she needs to hear it she needs to hear it until she believes it and this is going to help turn the tides around i definitely see a lot of affirmation so if you're not working with affirmations right now i highly highly recommend it especially when it comes to affirmations for divine feminine or affirmations for the shadow self the last card for divine feminine wow we have earth spirit stability when i see this card um showing up in a sequence of for this reading i see stability as you being secure and stable within yourself especially when you are asked to let things go especially when you're asked to surrender the outcome surrendering the outcome doesn't mean that you are going to be without you may need to hear that right surrendering the outcome means that the faulty things that you're holding on to don't continue to shake you you choose to ground and stabilize yourself because you don't you may want something but you don't need it you'll live without it if you don't feel that way right now this is where this rebirth is going to come from like a phoenix emerging from the ashes like rising up from the ashes so be prepared for that and that can be a painful process but it's not something that you can fear if anything holding on is causing you more more pain and suffering and damage than anything else okay so that is divine feminine let's go ahead and look into divine masculine and see what that energy is looking like i'm gonna leave the stability card here because i'm sending intention for that for you so divine masculine we have wow we have the deer <laughs> this is so funny we have the deer we have gentleness and diplomacy then we have the merlin alchemy justice and balance and then we have the swan transformation trusting the psychic gifts i don't know if you're seeing this but I'm seeing, even though the Merlin is here, it's so funny too that I was talking about the high priestess and then the Merlin is here. Um, but we're, I'm definitely seeing feminine energy in the masculine. And I get this sense that the masculine is hiding, like divine masculine is hiding or I don't say refusing to grow, but not growing in the way that divine feminine 
may expect it to or divine feminine may be trying to convince it to divine feminine you may be saying like yes see like why isn't it happening gah and divine masculine energy is literally i just heard like in a nut like in a nut which is it kind of made itself small and is hiding or buried which means that it's not really standing in its power right now it's definitely hiding and like intimidated by aspects of divine feminine that are more masculine than feminine so i hope that makes sense like if divine if the the divine feminine within you is okay um if this is an embodiment within you then this means that your divine feminine needs to be divine feminine you need to reconnect with what divine feminine looks like and start to balance that out right so if you are chasing and you're too much in your masculine we have off balance this means that your masculine energy can be under activated or overstimulated or burnt out whatever the case is and we need to lean back into our divine feminine again so that we can stabilize if this is a masculine energy this person can sense your fever can sense your your ambition, your drive, your force, your will. And it is only working to chase this person away or make them hide away. It's also not encouraging them to grow for themselves. This is when Divine Feminine is turning things around and doesn't allow masculine energy to make choice and decisions. Divine Feminine is... The embodiment of masculine energy like protecting masculine more than anything else not trusting masculine energy's ability to make choices and decisions for the relationship or for themselves for the future it's up divine feminine might interrupt divine masculine when they're talking and not really listen also divine feminine you may be on the opposite side of this being bulldozed by divine masculine and divine masculine has no desire to respect you because why they're getting away with murder so this is where i just want to say that divine mass like our masculine energy will fall away and hide when and just not show up like that could be the energy here too it's just choosing not to show up and that is how that's what's empowering them to be sleepy that's what's empowering them to stay in status quo um and this is not something that divine feminine should be like see just why can't they just or why can't this just happen or why can't you gotta let it go you seriously have to let it go um let's look at the next few cards here i'm really curious self-love interesting that divine masculine is focusing on the self and masculine energy is selfish very much so divine feminine is selfless there is no good or bad within that it is it is what it is divine feminine could learn a lot from masculine energy's natural ability to put prioritize themselves even if they choose even if masculine energy is choosing to protect it's because they feel good they want to protect like it's in they couldn't be okay with themselves if they weren't protecting or if they weren't providing. This person is focusing on themselves. It's very selfish energy here. I'm seeing them kind of, the masculine energy kind of hiding away, being dismissive or not handling shit, like not handling difficult things, running away, right? Um, let's go ahead and look at the animal. We have electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. And then we have porcupine spirit, time for a beginner mind. Interesting, the defense mechanisms here. <laughs> I don't know. That's the first thing that I'm noticing is the defense, the defense mechanisms. Like this one has quills and this one has electricity. Don't fucking touch me is the energy that we're getting off of these two. These are very defensive energies. Masculine is hiding. Masculine doesn't want to be touched. Masculine is guarded masculine is defensive masculine has evaporated whoa <laughs> big big lightning we've been having to um be really careful with lightning lately like a lot of people have been getting struck speaking right electrical eel, sp eel spirit holy wow okay so let's look at the tarot cards 
Oh my gosh, Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords, the World card. Dude, reversed. Eight of Cups is literally what it is that I'm seeing, which is them hiding away, shirking away, tail between the legs, or just like, this is also someone, if this is a person, this is someone who just doesn't show up. Like they are late, they don't respect time, they don't, and they're defensive. Queen of Swords is also very defensive. Also, Divine Feminine, you better not be making excuses for this person. Like someone here is kind of like, oh, well, you know, he's been through a lot. He's got these issues with his mom and I'm the only one. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. This person needs to heal and grow and figure it out for themselves. That is, you see how it says alchemy, justice, and balance? Justice means that they are they need to do the right thing, that they need to be the ones to do the right thing. They need to be the ones to transform. Do you see that tiny butterfly at the top? If you're not subscribed to or um, enrolled in Sacred Circle Tarot School and you want to study tarot, we talk about all of this. We talk about this deep symbolism of the bird, the butterfly, the clouds, the sword, all of it, the color of her shoes, everything. So, but for the most part, this butterfly is signifying transformation and the swan represents transformation. This person needs to focus. They need to need to, they need to want to change, to evolve, to shift the situation for themselves. If you don't see this happening, it ain't going to happen. And you have to be divine feminine. You're going to have to learn to let go. If not, then what you are stabilizing right now, what you are accepting is what will continue to stabilize. What, especially complacency. Now, if this is a energy within you, you need, I'm really, I don't want to tell you what to do, but this is where it's important for you to look into masculine energy and to, I don't speak, say speak life into it, but start to learn what masculine energy looks like and to, to show up to show up, to speak out. If there's something here that is disempowering you, you need to close this out because this, this is old. This is outdated. This is time to grow up, time to mature, time to move forward, time to address this. If this has a lot to do with something that you're afraid to walk away from or something that you've had to walk away from, the word that I just heard is failure. Someone being a of having afraid to fail or even afraid to succeed, it's time for you to walk away from that, to process it and to complete it, complete that cycle and let it go. If not, the divine masculine within you will not be able to grow up because it will stay in a place of stagnation, failure, insufficient, not showing up, not chasing, and kind of being very passive and letting other people call the shots because you feel powerless. If this is a, a, I already said about a person, so I already said that. Yeah, let's look at this last card. Wow, protection. Guardians of the land protection. It's so interesting that divine masculine feels a need to protect right now, self-protect. I understand. Divine masculine doesn't need to have all the answers and doesn't need to be a guardian or fighting the fight if they don't feel confident within themselves. I understand that. So do what you need to do or divine masculine needs to do what it needs to do in order to grow, to evolve, and to feel safe again so that it can finally emerge because right now it's defensive, closed off, and giving queen of swords. The queen of swords is upright, but it's defensive. It's very defensive. So that is what I see for those of you guys that chose pile number one, I would do an extended reading, but as far as like what the future holds, maybe I will. I just don't want to make more work for myself. All right, I'll do it. I'll do a little extended reading um, for what the future holds for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Um, if this is a relationship uh, reading for you, then you can find that down below. For everyone else, thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up button to show appreciation and I'll see you guys in my next video or in the extended. I'll talk to you soon. All right, my loves, if you chose the second message, this is your reading. This is gonna be divine feminine energy. This is gonna be divine masculine, whether you're connecting with those energies within yourself or an external person, we're gonna dive right in, okay? 
So, there is a storm. I don't know if you guys are hearing the thunder, but, or maybe even seeing some of the lightning. It's calm now, but they have been very ragey lately, so you may get a little extra um, booms and things like that. Okay, so uh, the, the card to represent the energy, the connection between divine feminine and divine masculine, whether it be a divine counterpart or the those energies within yourself is, ooh, <laughs> my hair is crunchy. The seven of wands reversed, interesting. Wow, girl, okay. Wow, someone here, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> okay, someone here, the first thing that I felt and heard is interesting. Okay, how do I say this? Um, you gotta, okay, I'm just gonna tell you flat out. So you gotta be careful, ah, shit, man. Okay, forced intimacy, right? Trying to like physically be care. I don't know why this is coming through with seven of wands, but letting someone in because I don't say out of desperation or doing things that you don't you're not ready to do but you kind of want to do them because you don't want to lose or they don't want to lose you or they're just trying to like I don't know why that's the first thing to come through seven of wands interesting reversed or upright it is the card of being caught off guard it's a place where we should be defending ourselves. Like it's a place that we should be protecting. So maybe that's why. But Spirit is literally using this card to talk about being really careful about compromising, especially when it comes to intimacy and connection. Um, I do want to say that this doesn't feel forced. Like the first pile was giving energy of like trying to manipulate a little bit, like trying to make things happen this is more like don't go like i'll give myself i'll give this of myself um or considering it when and this could be intimacy right physical intimacy but it could just be something that you just don't want to do if this is a relationship uh, or a person, you need to sit back. The relationship as a whole needs to sit back and kind of question, ask themselves, why, like, why are we doing what we're doing? Like, do I really want this? Like, what is this really going to cost me? Is this, could I wait a little longer? Like, could the situation be more ripe, you know, before I allow this to happen or before I co-sign this and if you find that you it just isn't the right time whatever that is don't if this is divine feminine divine masculine like the connection that's going on between the two this is like needing the fever to go down like something that is making you stressed or sick or compromised in some way we want to heal that first before anything else and that is that right okay let's go ahead and look at divine feminine first first card is burden holy mm-hmm Yo, spirit speaks, right? The bard, music, poetry, myth, history, and the enchantment of storytelling. Oh, okay, I almost flipped that other card over. This is to say, like, what you're about to hand over is, like, it needs to be handled by the right person. Divine Feminine. What you are ready to, like, I don't want to say ready to give, but ready to compromise to hand it over to someone else. It could be a promise. It could be... A commitment it could be I don't say complacency but like this is where if you had if you sat with yourself and you're just like no 
But at the same time, it's tough because you may actually sit with yourself and be like, yeah, but I want this person or I want this thing to happen. And I feel like in order to do that, I kind of have to exchange myself. No. Or compromise something of myself. When you sit with your, I, I don't know how else to say this, but when you when you sit with yourself and you are not ready, that is an answer. The burden does not feel like an actual burden. It feels like the magnitude of what you have, what you may offer or what you are and how the right person, only the right person can handle it. It shouldn't be trivial. It shouldn't be light. It's Olympics time right now, right? And I think about, when I'm looking at these cards, I think about how these people are naturally gifted but they train almost their whole lives for this moment to represent their country and to compete with other countries this needs to be handled with respect and with dedication and determination and focus and if not it just isn't going to succeed you know, it has to be handled with the right hands and the right hands. It has to be responsible. The people and the parties, all per people involved need to be able to have what it takes. Divine Feminine, you don't need to compromise yourself or put yourself in a situation because that doesn't, that doesn't hold you in the in the manner that you should be held if this is mass the feminine energy within yourself and not how you're approaching a, a person or a relationship this is you not taking on so much that you weigh yourself down that you stress yourself out that you i just heard like for someone here it's like you lived many lives like like they're talking about like, you know, not past lives, but it's like you it's like you've lived many lives in this life right now. So for that reason, they're like, it's important for you to ease up on the expectations and the pressure that you put on yourself and to try to enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm. Like divine feminine, that's what you really need to hear within yourself if this is that message also I do feel like there's gonna be some of you guys someone here might be apologizing for what happens to them I don't know what that means but like let's say let's say when you're oh, this is so random but let's say let's say you're working out and you sweat and someone is disgusted by your sweat it's like and then you apologize for sweating. It's like that's your natural body. That's your body's way of cooling itself down. And it's actually very healthy. Why are you apologizing for that? Also, it's a sign of your hard work and dedication. The right people will be like, yes, girl. Like, go ahead. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> that's not gross. That's magnificent. There's something here that I just don't think that you should be apologizing. For. That's an intuitive message that I feel. Let me look at these other cards. Loneliness. So this is what I'm saying. Sometimes when we're lonely, we literally, it says, when you stop fearing your loneliness, you, aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. This is where it's like, don't allow someone or something in, especially if they're trivial, and especially if they're going to burden you with some bullshit because you're lonely I know I've been hearing that dating is crazy out here. I can see it in the charts. I can hear it when my friends talk about it. I don't like dating situations. I used to thrive in the dating scene. Now I'm in a relationship happily. And I listen and I'm like, oh, holy crap, you know. Um, but don't allow your loneliness to kind of allow you to mess around with people who or things or energies that fuck around part of my French 
And honestly, some of you guys may need to be honest with yourself and just say like, I do. You also, four, five, six, seven. You have seven, seven, seven here. Number seven, four plus three is seven. And then five, six, seven, that seven of wands. Some of you guys really need to, you're, you're kind of getting, I don't say desperate, but like you're giving up or letting in in a place where you should be holding your ground and giving it to the divine to direct you or redirect you in a new direction, divine feminine. Trust. All, that's, that's a double, that's a double, uh, I don't want to say edge sword here because it's not, but like, it's not a sword. It's like, can you trust the hands that you are about to fall into or that you're allowing yourself to be touched by? If this is intimate, um, can you trust who, do you feel like you will be held by, safely held by this person and not drop? Like, can you really do a trust fall with them? Flip, flip that. Can you do a trust fall with a divine, especially when you are praying and setting intention for connection and intimacy and love and coming together and union? Can you trust when spirit says wait? Can you trust when spirit says, I'll tell you when? Because if not, you trying to force or you trying to let something in, it makes a burden on you. Let's say this isn't a, a physical person that you know. Let's say this is just you trying to manifest love. It'll get you in places that burden, spiritually and energetically burden you because you're not finding what you are looking for, what you really want. And it'll weigh you down. And the angels, the guides, universe, the divine is telling you to wait. Do you trust when they tell you to wait? Or do you put yourself in situations that spiritually, again, disappoint you and let you down like even if it's not a real not if it, even if it's not people just going out there and not seeing what you want like not experiencing what is that you want that can take a toll because that makes people feel like what i want doesn't exist no you're not seeing what it is that you want right now because it's not the time but that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist you just can't you can't find it right now there's a reason Divine Feminine, let's look at your nature here. Yeah, when pigs fly, right? Pig spirit and then dragonfly spirit. So there's something about really lightening the load. Every time I think of dragonflies, I think about deep, 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 deep. They don't stick on one situation for too long. They just kind of let it go. Now, this can represent energies that are around you. Or this can represent the energy that you may need to embody, but don't let it be so trivial and don't let it be gluttonous. The pig, I love, I respect the pig, but it also comes through when people are gluttonous and they are, they indulge. That's how I'll keep it. And they don't respect. Pigs will eat anything. I don't mean to say it like that. <laughs> you just got to be careful when the pig shows up. Because um, you need to be handled carefully with respect. The divine, like you're called divine feminine for a reason. So don't allow just anybody to get their mitts on you. And don't put yourself in a situation that you don't need to be in. This could be like going to bars and eating fried food nothing wrong with those two things but it too much in anything and you know that's not an energetic match for you it ain't a match it's gonna create burden keep the energy light transmutation phoenix truth it's like having a come to jesus moment with yourself and expansion yeah, um, this situation needs, that's the truth in this situation, like real sitting awareness, like the situation needs time to grow. It, there needs to be more opportunity. There needs to be, it needs to have evolved in some way. It needs to level up, not just you, but just the circumstances around you. It's like someone innocent being caught in a, in a, 
tank of muddy water. Like, I don't know why that made me want a heavy sigh. But, like, it's just so, like, especially if you take it in and you're just like, why? What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Like, why? Don't think that because this is the time that we're in that this is a reflection of you. It also doesn't mean that you're going to have the outcome that everybody else is going to have or this expectation of like, especially with this word burden, like this expectation of just like, this just situation needs to evolve. Like it just needs to evolve. It needs time. It needs time. It needs to be right. And if it ain't the right time, then it's not right. Let's look at the tarot cards. I was going to say if any time it ain't right, but that's not the direction that we're going in. <laughs> okay, we have the Ten of Cups reversed, and we have the Judgment card reversed. I hope I'm not offending anybody here, by the way. I, like, that's not my intention. Um, okay, Ten of Cups reversed and the Judgment card reversed. So... This is seriously, like, just not, you need to, like, really listen to yourself. Like, really listen to your inner judgment. Judgment card reversed is, like, I hear what I, I know what I should be doing. Like, I hear it deep within my spirit and within my gut, and I ignore it. And the Ten of Cups is literally, like, not having that happiness. Like, knowing that, no, knowing, sensing it and wanting it being so close but not having experiencing it. So we accidentally find ourselves in situations that just fuck us up, that don't make us happy, that are false promises, that do not carry us, that don't catch us when we fall. So there's this need to kind of listen, to listen in. If you hear something, especially with truth card here, if you hear something, if you're growing, listen to it and trust, especially trust your intuition. Don't compromise yourself. Also, be very careful about like who is talking to you, friends, family. They may want what's best for you, but that's what they want for you. And you just can't. You have to trust yourself. You really have to trust yourself. And also ask for help from your angels and your guides so that they can help you to trust them, to guide you further. Let's look at masculine energy because, wow. If you know something's not good for you, don't, don't indulge in it. I am going to leave the word expansion here because we are going to manifest that for you. Now, masculine energy. Oh, partnership. At what cost? I'm um, sorry. <laughs> the earth fairy and the physical health and grounding and foundations. So with this, this could be two things, right? Partnership could be I want to link up with you. I want to sync with you. And Earth Fairy can represent the tangible, the physical, right? Even though it's Earth, it's very, it's not a mental connection. It's not totally passion, but it could be comfort and physicality, which this is where we got to be careful because masculine energy within you or masculine energy with another person can choose things that we want to make, well... <laughs> There is, there is a desire for things to last forever, but sometimes we fall short of finding longevity. So we we settle where we are. And divine masculine, like that masculine energy within you may be doing that. Um, and that's what you may be looking for is comfort. On the flip side, if this is a connection in the future, which I can see that too, this is someone, divine masculine, readying themselves for the real deal, but it takes time. Still, at the end of the day, it's going to take time. The next cards that we have here are gratitude and contentment. Now, again, this is another thing too that is I wanna be careful of because contentment means that, especially with this earth energy here, where we're just like, 
the way that it is is the way that I like it to be because it fills my needs, masculine energy saying that. If this is masculine energy within you, this is you tuning into your body, getting grounded, expressing gratitude, and feeling good for where you are right now. If this is a situation that is a burden to divine feminine, right? Divine feminine, you got to look at how divine masculine may be moving and saying like how things are is maybe benefiting them and is giving them comfort. Does it do the same thing for you? Um, if this is something like a relationship, this could be, now let me flip it. If someone is in a healthy relationship, this per, divine masculine is very comfortable and that's not necessarily a bad thing. They're very comfortable in their skin with you. They're very comfortable um, in the relationship. Their needs are being met. Um, but why, Divine Feminine, are you shouldering a burden now? That's the only thing that's really bothering me. Is like Divine Masculine seems to be doing just fine. And Divine Feminine, you may need to ask Divine Fem Masculine to help you. Or to pr provide a little bit. Or to lean on them. Like let them in. If this is divine feminine, I'm still a little of that. If this is divine masculine energy within you, this is allowing your masculine energy to rest, to be comforted, um, to be poured into, to not have to chase or change, but to be present. And that's a beautiful thing as well. The next, oh. We have the turtle spirit. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Also, this card is this card represents contentment for me too. And electric eel spirit is interesting because this can represent chem, uh, chemistry connection. I also feel like divine masculine energy here. Like I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but it just feels really stable. Like it just seems like nothing can really rock the masculine here which is not bad like that's actually high key phenomenal um it's like a tree getting struck by lightning it doesn't die like it like for some reason it, this tree doesn't die like it just may get zapped when other trees may be fried like this is a very steady partner or a very steady person or divine or masculine masculine energy within you feels safe or prioritizing that feeling of safety and contentment this is actually I, I really like you got trust but crystal cave so this energy is in is like being shielded or protected or just feels really good yep we have the forest temple enlightenment and the next card here we have is leadership wow i really actually like the divine masculine right now i like where the divine masculine is falling. Like I like how, actually I like where the div divine masculine stands. They're doing a lot of things that are right and protected and aligned and good. And like, this is someone who has like structure, routine, is thriving, vibing, doing just fine. They're doing just fine. I just worry going back to divine feminine, why divine feminine is um, shouldering a burden here like divine feminine you may need to, to ask for um to like help from the masculine energy in general like just kind of delegate oh my god excuse me i wasn't expecting that yawn um but yeah divine masculine is thriving we have the tower. Yeah, dude, it's funny. Okay. The tower card here and the Knight of Pentacles. The tower card represents like that lightning bolt that I was talking about that just kind of strikes out of nowhere. Um, If this is trying, if this is like, if this is divine masculine, like changing in some way or growing in some way, it comes with a it comes with a shock, but even still, it's a slow and steady progression. Like they they're not going to. It's like um, if a king is on their throne and they keep delegating their their 
to other leadership to handle things, or maybe not a king on a throne, but like a C- CEO. The CEO doesn't have to show up unless the shit is hitting the fan. And then they're like, okay. And then they get up and they're they're very comfortable and they're creaking a little bit. <laughs> Their bones are creaking a little bit, but then they show up and then they kind of like steer the ship. This is that, this is where the divine, this is the divine masculine energy that I'm getting here is like someone who doesn't need to get up and change things. They feel very comfortable, comfortable where they're at, which is good because they're not ready to change things like they're if they're this is someone that you're in a relationship with I see this as in it for the long haul like committed literally not changing anything whether that is what if that's good or bad that's that's gonna be up to you you know also if this for some of you guys who are like Jess how does this apply to masculine energy with masculine energy and blah, blah, masculine energy within me you're going to need to hear that you're safe that Nothing more is going to come in and shake you. You can lower your defense. You can let that burden down. You can begin to trust. You can find gratitude and contentment here in the moment. You can move slowly. You you may be someone who races around and worries a lot. Like your mind may be jumping and worrying and trying to predict things before they fall apart. And you're just stressing yourself out because at the end of the day, it ends up being just fine and your masculine energy doesn't need to be activated right now you can trust you can chill and that's why seven of wands reverse that's why this card is kind of saying like you have your defense up and there's really no need so if anything give gratitude and contentment for where you're at right now and where and how your angels and your guides are protecting you and if you are anxious Get, start fo- focusing on your spiritual self and ask for peace. Okay? So that is your reading. Um, I did do a extended for the, number, the first message, but I don't think I'm going to do an extended for this one. I'm going to move on to pile number three. And I do hope that this spoke to you and poured into you and uh, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one moving on to pile number three bye all right my loves if you chose the third message this is your reading now this card represents the connection as a whole this card represents divine feminine energy whether that be the divine feminine within you the embodiment of it or whether it represents an external person like another person this represents divine masculine whether that be masculine energy within you or an external person let's go ahead and dive right in so the card to represent your connection is oh justice card reversed justice card reversed now what stands out to me and what stands out to you as you look at this card. Hmm. I think the way that this person's hand is, but also, I gotta take a closer look. The people in the back. Is there something on your conscience <laughs> here for both of you or just in your in your consciousness like in your subconscious something that may not be sitting right in you um this may some this may be something that you don't have closure with something that you or someone else needs an explanation like do you feel like you're owed something do something um, it's interesting because I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's people in the back of this card and then you have this person standing here trying to kind of protect and defend themselves. And what I'm hearing is like, what gives, you know, and people are like, what gives, like, why'd you do that for? It, I'm, I, I feel like there's something here of like a big question mark of like, why, like, why, why like why did that happen why what was what were you thinking not in a bad way but more like curious 
Um, I'm also hearing the word distaste, like something that just doesn't, like something that you may have a difficult time like processing, digesting, understanding, coming to terms with. Um, for some of you guys, it might be something that you carry on your, like a shadow that you carry within yourself. Even as I'm saying this, you may not even recognize it or be aware of it, but it kind of quietly haunts you or bothers you, but you may not necessarily be looking at it. It's It could be something that you've done, something that you can't do, something that you didn't do, something that sits on your conscience. Something that you may want, like I, I see this as spirit wanting to unburden this from you. Like so that you, which is funny because the second pile actually got a message about burden. But um, yeah, I see this as spirit wanting you to resolve something like this could be a real if this is in a relationship that would be interesting but i really see this as um don't mind me i'm getting gonna get cozy here this could be something i just see this as like something that may just impact you it could be an insecurity. It could be like a dream, like a dream not fulfilled. And you're just, I don't know. This is interesting. I'm going to look at Divine Feminine. Let's go ahead and look into Divine Feminine. Actually, no, Spirit said finish your thought. Okay. I see this almost as like someone, I heard it like a dream deferred, which is so interesting. It's like a dream that you have that got is getting put off, continues to get put off, or hasn't come to fruition yet. And... You're wondering if it ever will and like paying, this is such a specific message, but paying your bills in a basic, not a basic job. This is like someone who wants to be a football. I don't know why this is the example that's coming through. Someone who wants to be like a football player, like a football star, but they didn't get drafted and then they end up being like a car salesman. And then it's like they're, they're happy, but it's like something that sits within them that doesn't, they're not content with. Don't click out. <laughs> Some of you guys are like, Jess. No, I know. But this is the, it all usually comes around full circle. But this is just what I'm feeling intuitively first. If you heard me moving the microphone, it was because I was. It was just a little close to me from where I was sitting. Like how I started leaning. Let's go ahead and look at Divine Feminine first. Or should I do Divine Masculine first? Yeah. Let's do Divine Masculine first. And then we'll do Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, what is going on with that first? Love. Someone feels like love is delayed or like like masculine energy feels like love is delayed or like divine feminine, like the feminine could do better or is like, I don't know why this is coming through, but like they might have like a low, they may have their doubts, but not because of themselves or that it's just like they feel like insufficient and it bothers them they need oh man they need to have be reassured but i don't think that the reassurance can come from anybody else it has to come from within them it's like someone saying like you could do so much better if this is a person then that's how they feel but if this is embodiment within you this is you, the masculine side of you feels like you may have something that you need to prove. And this underlying feeling kind of drives you. I'm interested in seeing what else. Yeah, stag, wow. Pride, leadership. This is, again, talking about confidence. Like someone may question someone's love for them or admiration or oh it's like imposter syndrome like this is what's really coming through it's like imposter syndrome I'm also getting like I feel like this fluttering in my heart like this person may really do a lot like and it kind of stresses them out but they don't talk about it like they this is someone who like, even as I'm talking, they may have anxiety. Like, even as I'm talking, I can feel my chest kind of closing in. If this is the masculine energy within you, this is that part of you that, like, 
is your drive and your ambition is this underlying like anxiousness, anxiety, fear, a need like why I also want to ask like why don't you feel like why doesn't the masculine energy feel the masculine energy within you or masculine energy with someone else why don't they feel sufficient enough like this is something that they need to come to terms with within themselves because I don't know if they have real genuine reason to the next cards you have are trust challenges interesting ambition holy wow someone here like the masculine energy here kind of i don't want to say sets themselves up but this person is very very masculine like the divine masculine here is the epitome of like aries ambition or capricorn like force and you know i just see this as like they this person is motivated and the motivation is on the outside this i'm really going deep into this person right now or your masculine energy um this person on the outside it seems like they're confident and self-assured and like like grinding you know like achieving or accomplishing or everyone else can see it but them and it's i actually feel a tension like a tightness in the heart that i don't even think that they're aware of this person is a natural leader. They love very deeply. They want to provide their all. But I don't. But there's a feeling here that of imposter syndrome. Like, are you sure me? Like, or they've got something to prove. Or they get, they can get very activated. Like, not triggered in a toxic way, but just kind of like go even harder when they hit a wall when they're trying to hit their goals like when they're trying to achieve their goal and it's not personal sometimes it's just a matter of timing right timing right place and also the divine's protection i genuinely feel like this love card here is interesting because it reminds me of marriage Like this, if this is a relation, if this is a relationship that you're in, this could lead to marriage. I don't want to like say that and then someone dive off the cliff <laughs> with that because some people on the internet would do that. Um, or a relationship that in the future leads to marriage. This is divine mass. Either way, this is masculine energy that is deeply committed. I haven't seen this type of energy in the cards in a minute for the collective consciousness. There's been a lot of fickleness. Let's go ahead and go a little deeper. Healing the bare spirit, the strength, knowledge, and happiness. I'm getting a really strong feeling here that masculine energy, if this is a relationship, like a connection, um, this person will really benefit from divine feminine's levity in life. Like, um, the joy, like I see this as a bird that sings, like the bluebird. I see this as a bird that sings and calls of good times. If it's not an actual feminine energy that is singing, it could represent her voice and how she speaks and how she talks and her laughter really is all that the masculine energy needs to hear this is a person who genuinely just wants to make you happy i really like love this person like so much if this is not a person that you're dealing with now then this is someone that you should be setting attention for for the future if you want a relationship this feels really really good i'm not even kidding this person kind of reminds me of my partner, actually. Um, if this is masculine energy within you, I really see a gentleness that is going to be watered by spirit or wants to be watered by spirit so that you can laugh, so that you can relax, so that you can let your shoulders down, so that you can 
feast on life and love and joy and all the good. And I know that everyone's going through something, especially here in the United States. It's been wild. Well, all over the globe. But this is about trying to enjoy it's interesting with the knowledge card, I'm not actually getting book knowledge or education, although that could be very important, like someone who is studying or going to school. Um, and if that is the case, this person needs to be very careful because think about like when someone is like studying, 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 and they're trying to pass this test and then they pass the test. And then when they pass the test, they should be happy, but they spiral because they passed the test. And now they have no structure again. They kind of lose themselves. This is something that it's like, this is what spirit wants you to they are cautioning you about your ambition, like, and you finding like your true joy and your happiness is not in your achievements or even setting these goals. You still need to be whole and heal, like healed as, as a person just regularly, like without any, like, of course we need to have goals. Of course we need to have things that we work towards. Like as human beings, we need that. We, we do need that. Um, but also, can you simply just enjoy? Like, can you simply be present? Can you simply laugh and relax and, and show up for your friends and family and for yourself and do things for the sake of pleasure? Some of you guys are, with this whole imposter syndrome, you have to know that that, that goal or your ambition is not your full identity. Don't make that your full identity. Don't make that your full existence here. Let's look at these other cards. Ooh. You have Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. Grasshopper Spirit, take a leap of faith. Chameleon Spirit, act as if, which is so funny because that really definitely connects to imposter syndrome. And then Whale Spirit, trust the great mystery, but also music and song and voice and opinions and perspective this is someone who really loves con conversing like divine masculine loves to sit and chat and talk it could be a debate it could be joking like it could be it could be like it could be any one of those things like there's some people who just love it, you have relationships and people and things that just light you up like a good debate really gets you going like it's just like ah needed that like someone who I could finally debate with without them getting offended and then there's people who are like ah needed that a good joke like and finally we don't have to th talk about things seriously we can just laugh about stupid shit like this person needs to that's how they connect is through verbal and through I don't say friendship but through common ground and this mass that masculine energy here needs that or I don't say needs but could really benefit from it it gives them it makes them soar high it makes them feel like they're doing something right again this is someone who just wants to make sure that everybody's happy like really just wants to make people happy and needs to they don't need to know but it's like it makes a difference when things are going well because they feel like it pours into the part of them that feels like an imposter that tries really hard to make things happen It's interesting with time to let go, the groundhog spirit here. Um, I see this as ex the heavy expectations that they have that they have within themselves, but I don't see them actually being able to do it. I think that this is really ingrained within them. It's like this underlying, sorry, this masculine energy. It's like this underlying subconscious drive that I don't think that they realize, but it's a demonstration of their commitment and their love for fill in the blank whatever they apply themselves to if i am right this person has a lot of things that they're like leaders of and it's someone who's such a leader they may really question themselves and this is someone who i like feel like i understand this person um this is someone who is a leader and like but they are leading their friends and they benefit from their friends like patting them on the back and be like thank you like someone just saying thank you 
or they check in with their they're not just a leader and just like okay my rules like a dictator they have a lot of people that they consult and that they respect and they make executive decisions and it actually makes them a better leader because they're being they have a cons i just love this person i love this person i love this person let's look at the tarot oh <laughs> see <laughs> i just love them ace of cups the lover's card reversed the two of swords reversed and the seven of cups this confirms to me again the love that they feel but the disconnect when they can't see when they can't, if they, let's say, let's say if I pull Divine Feminine cards and Divine Feminine is, is miserable because she's going through a season, you know, you know how we get. <laughs> I, I don't gotta tell you. Um, but this person can, can sometimes say in their mind, like articulate in their mind, like, okay, she's hormonal, right? If it's, you know, or she's going through something they can understand but if it's too long they just are like gosh I just want to make this better like and they it may not be their problem but they want everybody to be okay so if they can't see that if this is divine masculine within you the embodiment of you you just like you may not be able to, you may feel like an imposter and you may not be able to see how loved you are or like, because people like this, they do attract good people around them. Or you may not have that and you're just like, bah! you know, but don't let it stop you from being who you are and loving because this person's going to be positive regardless they wouldn't do well alone um or without friends and sometimes you have to be patient but there's going to be doors that are unlocked i definitely see that like i see opportunity happening here and opening up for this person especially with the grasshopper spirit here the two of swords reversed you're not going to be able to see this um but it's happening if this is like if you've been feeling i just don't okay if you're alone you're not going to be alone forever. You've got like community and circles. You just need to show up in this leadership role and you just, you'll just have this natural community showing up around you. Um, so don't worry about that. Like this is like if a person like moved, I'm almost getting a vibe of like someone moving or starting over and like, ugh, like that ugh, of starting over and like having to build a community again, but you'll be fine. I really, um, if this is in your work or your goals, I, I just really get this this energy is really nice it'll be really positive like it, you're, you're gonna be fine you just someone here probably feels like a huge imposter also don't run yourself down um give yourself some credit divine the divine masculine within you needs to give them give give yourself credit okay let me put these cards away and let's go ahead and look at divine feminine I feel like I, I like love this person like in a not in a weird way like that's that's your man that's your man that's your man I'm just kidding um I just love their energy my type of people okay divine feminine it's interesting that we started with divine masculine right okay divine feminine oh okay the novice, innocence, beginner, ignorance, new skill without practice, and unstable curiosity. Also, if, I'm sorry, if you, if this was divine masculine, and this is someone that you haven't met yet, and it's someone that you have a connection with, like this, that you're manifesting, you hit the nail on the head there, honey. Like, this person's going to be dope. So, okay. Ooh, ooh, see? The king. And the novice. Love that. Wealth. Ugh. Need I say more? Okay. Divine feminine. This energy is all up in you. Oh, that sounded weird. Okay. I didn't mean it like that. That masculine energy that we just read for is in your aura. So this person is very, this person would be very, very close to you. I also am smelling cinnamon. 
Someone could be doing a love spell. I do put cinnamon in my in my love spells, my love spell oil. Um, it's available in my shop. Not right now. The shop is closed. I'm on maternity leave, kind of, while I finish up orders. And then I'm going to be reopening for protection oils. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, I just smelt cinnamon. And cinnamon can be used for money and abundance and wealth. But also quickly attracting something. This could speed in this person's energy or strengthen this person the masculine energy is in this sounds so weird it's in the divine feminine like there is a connection here you guys are one someone here might be uh exploring or uncovering or having dreams of their own sensuality i'm here for it i'm so here for it this is something that is cracking through with divine feminine she is open she is receptive she is attracting masculine the fem, this is the way that it should be <laughs> like this i love this reading this is the way that it should be this person masculine energy comes i don't say crashing in but he comes he comes correct this that sounds so weird he sh, this energy is showing up divine feminine if this is divine feminine within you you are on it girl you are on it you are attracting you're magnetizing you are electric you are strong like in a good way like just powerfully attracting like uh magnetizing to you it's you're you're making moves some of you guys have healed a lot you need to hear that um you're on charge it's like electric it feels really really good um don't be afraid of your power either don't allow also, you have a lot of time and space to be selective. For some of you guys, you're about to get engaged with, married to, like, doing well within your business. Or if not, it's about to turn a new chapter. You're doing what you needed to do to do it for you. And it's opening up. It's already opened up doors. Like, it's in the room, you know? Like, this is not something that's like, oh, yeah, six months from now. No, we are making progress. Let's see what else we have. Oh, true love. Not surprised to see that. Service. Interesting. And gratitude. We love it. We love to see this. I feel like divine feminine, this is the way that it should be. You should feel so poured into and so loved up on that you feel safe. You feel grateful. You feel like, oh, this is what I've been needing. This is what I've been asking for. Um, some of you guys really are if you're not if if you're not looking for a relationship you're embodying true love within yourself um of course we all have our shadow moments but i love this i don't know another way to say it i just love it so much um it's easy for you to practice gratitude it's easy for you to be to to look at life shining in on you especially if you're not too hard on yourself you almost want to pour in and give to other people. Um, your generosity is peaking, like, because you feel poured into. You feel safe. You feel protected. If not, this is what you're setting intention for. And it is coming down the pipeline. Quick, 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 quick. Very beautiful reading. We have purification. Yeah, someone did some energy cleansing and miracles. See, I can't even, like, make this up. Uh... If this is a relationship, you guys have a blessing on the way, especially with purification here. It's just like, it, it just feels like a blessing. It feels like a gift. It feels like a, a new chapter, something to be grateful for, something that will give you additional purpose and meaning within your life, abundance, clarity, direction, joy, like... I just love this. I really love, if this is a couple, let's double date, you know? <laughs> like, if this is a, your future partner, when you guys meet and connect, call us, you know, we'll double date with you guys. We, we, love, a, we love to sit down and cook uh, for our friends and our family and um, you are invited over. <laughs> yeah, I just really love this. And Well, everybody's invited over, but I just feel like this would be a good time. Like, it would be a good time. Um, but yeah, this feels really good. I don't know how else to say this. and Like, I really don't. Okay. Next card we have, oh, Canary Spirit, sing your own song. Wait a minute. 
didn't we also yes in this pile do you remember divine masculine how we were saying like how it's like masculine energy enjoys the voice or the the song or the music of divine feminine like mm -hmm. divine feminine just as much as masculine energy is pouring into you you are pouring into them by recognizing them like singing or laughing like that is music to divine masculine's ears if this is in energy like if these are energies your divine feminine and masculine energy is pretty is pretty balanced if not this is not your reading because this is really solid this feels really good cat spirit claim your independence this is divine feminine literally embodying herself like literally luxurious stretched out enjoying savoring her existence she feels like a little tiny goddess you are doing the work it is paying off it has healed there has been healing you can also like i also think of the cat like when they don't like something they kind of swat at it like so it it's almost like if this is something that is bothering you it almost laughs and gives you the space. It's not like you don't get punished for speaking up. You are respected. The other animal that you have here is fox spirit. Think on your feet. Interesting. 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 I see the fox spirit again as like cunningness, intelligence, wit. Also like self-sufficiency like protection family but not in a bad way like knowing that you have the support of family or the support of your angels and your guides the support of your friends the support around you regardless like feeling supported and being able to brave the world and like be okay this is really good let's look at your tarot cards we have the Page of Cups, this was reversed. We have this Page of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Wands. It's interesting, okay. I just feel like with the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, this is where you have the emotional support. Again, you feel supported. You have the emotional support and the foundation to ask for help, to be provided for. Um, if this is not something that you've experienced, this is gonna be a new season in your life. Some of you guys are like scratching your head and just like, Jess, I'm, I'm not there. You will be, or you are entering into it now. Um, even when the Page of Cups was reversed or the Page of Pentacles, I still see energy being poured into you. Because the Nine of Wands is the stopping. Like, it's not the Ten of Wands, it's the Nine of Wands right before where you're like, okay, let me pause before we decide to move forward this is where like if you need help someone comes rolling up on the wagon and says get in i'll take you the rest of the way it feels really cohesive like it feels like we're where we help each other out like i don't know i i really love i love this energy what stands out to me is the purification card and I'm going to shuffle on that a little bit more right now. When you say purification spirit, what are you? Seven of swords. This is you literally like letting go of this imposter syndrome or letting go of this justice energy here. Remember this energy that we were talking about earlier of like, like having something on your conscience, having something bother you, having something in the shadow, cleanse yourself of that. Like you don't need to carry that anymore. Like that's not a part of your reality anymore, divine feminine. Like you, also divine masculine. Like that may be the only thing that's kind of tripping you up is I just, uh, th things are fine, but like I just have, something here that like I'm holding on to that I'm defensive about like I can't I don't feel totally comfortable to like let my guard down or let love in or to trust or to feel safe but you are now or you can embody that now 
that maybe maybe why like divine mass the masculine part of you may try to chase and pursue and has imposter syndrome because things are working out and you kind of feel like well when's the next shoe gonna drop like is it safe for me to trust is it okay for me to let my guard down can i trust myself can I trust the universe? Can I trust God? Can I trust the future? I, you know, you can, you really, well, I mean, we could do an extended reading and see what, what we can trust. Like what, what now, like what happens now? If this has a lot to do with marriage, oh, excuse me. so sorry. If this has a lot to do with marriage or starting a fresh chapter with someone or setting intention for it, you may not, you may know that this is what you want, but not feel like, you know, just the EBGB sometimes when you're kind of starting something new where you just kind of like, you may know that it's your person, but sometimes there's that feeling of like, oh my God, but what if it isn't? <laughs> Or this could be a feeling of like starting a new chapter in your life, something that is miraculous, something that is incredible. And you're trying to strategize like, now what? Like, what do I do now? Like, are we making the right choice? Is this the right move? Is this good? It seems good. We can look into, that's why I feel like purification card is here because this is something that it's important for you to like let go. Um, and you don't want to think about it too much because then you can sabotage yourself. Or take all the take the time that is that you need, but also don't be stuck and don't second guess yourself and don't for some of you guys you need to know that the future is gonna be gold. Like it's it's gonna exceed beyond expectations. We'll definitely I'll definitely do a uh extended i didn't do a, an extended for the second message i did do one for the first this is one that i feel like some reassurance needs to come through i'm really curious to hear now what you know now that things are turning for the better also maybe give you some advice to help you prepare for this new beginning this new chapter the novice year or even to attract it in to help pull it in not pull it in but like um prepare like there's something about like prep pre preparation um, that you can relax in and not be stressed out by that will help magnetize this to you. So let's go ahead and dive into that. That'll be in the extended. For everyone else, um, if I'm saying goodbye to you now, it has been a blessing. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for your energy. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. For those of you guys that I'm meeting in the extended, I am going to be shuffling from the Romance Angels cards and the tarot, the B tarot. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I'll see you guys in the extended. Bye.